Welcome to this video, where we will explore what angels do in heaven, and how they relate to God, the Lamb, and the redeemed humans. Angels are spiritual creatures who serve and worship God in His presence. They are not like humans, who are made in God's image and have a special relationship with Him. Angels are created by God for His glory and purposes, and they have different ranks and functions. In this video, we will focus on four aspects of their heavenly activities, their worship, their witness, their service, and their praise. First, let's look at how angels worship God around His throne. The book of Revelation gives us a glimpse of the heavenly scene, where God is seated on a throne surrounded by four living creatures and twenty-four elders. The four living creatures are cherubim, who are the highest order of angels. They have six wings and are full of eyes, and they constantly proclaim the holiness and power of God. They say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was, and is, and is to come. Revelation 4 verse 8. Their worship inspires the 24 elders, who represent the redeemed people of God from both the Old and New Testaments. The elders fall down before the throne and cast their crowns before God, saying, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. Revelation 4 verse 11. The angels also acknowledge the Lamb, who is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He is the only one who can open the scroll that contains God's plan for the end times. The scroll is sealed with seven seals, and no one in heaven or on earth can open it, except the Lamb, who was slain for the sins of the world. The Lamb takes the scroll from the right hand of God, and the angels burst into a new song of worship. They say, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, because you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. Revelation 5 verses 9 to 10. The angels worship God and the Lamb with all their hearts, minds, and strength. They recognize their greatness and their grace, and they give them the glory they deserve. They also rejoice in the salvation of the redeemed humans, who are the objects of God's love and mercy. Second, let's see how angels witness God's work of redemption and creation. The angels are not only spectators, but also participants in God's plan. They are involved in various events and activities that reveal God's grace and wisdom to the world. For example, they announce the gospel and the birth of Jesus to the shepherds in the fields of Bethlehem. They say, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you, he is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you, you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Luke 2 verses 10 to 12. They also celebrate the birth of Jesus with a chorus of praise, saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Luke 2 verse 14. The angels are also subject to Jesus as their God and Lord. They obey his commands and do his will. They are ministering spirits sent to serve the redeemed, who are the heirs of salvation. They protect them, guide them, comfort them, and encourage them. They also fight against the forces of evil, who oppose God and his people. The book of Revelation describes a war in heaven, where Michael and his angels fight against the dragon and his angels. The dragon is the devil, who tries to deceive and destroy the world. The dragon and his angels are defeated and thrown down to the earth, where they continue to wage war against the saints. Revelation 12 verses 7 to 17. The angels witness God's work of redemption and creation, and they marvel at his grace and wisdom. They give glory and honor to both the Father and the Lamb, who are the source and the goal of all things. They also see the whole earth filled with God's glory, as his kingdom comes and his will is done. Third, let's examine how angels serve and obey God and his Son. The angels are not only worshippers and witnesses, but also servants and messengers of God. They carry out his orders and deliver his messages to the world. They have different roles and responsibilities, depending on their rank and function. Some of them are guardians, who watch over the nations and the individuals. Some of them are warriors, who fight against the enemies of God and his people. Some of them are heralds, who proclaim God's word and his judgments. Some of them are agents, who perform God's signs and wonders. Some of them are intercessors, who stand before God and pray for his people. The angels serve and obey God and his Son with all their loyalty and faithfulness. They do not question or rebel against God's authority and sovereignty. They do not seek their own glory or interest, but only God's glory and will. They are not jealous or envious of the redeemed humans, who have a closer relationship with God than they do. They are not proud or arrogant, but humble and respectful. They are not selfish or greedy, but generous and selfless. Finally, let's consider how angels praise God and His Son. The angels are not only servants and messengers, but also singers and musicians of God. 
They express their love and admiration for God and the Lamb with songs and instruments. They join with the redeemed humans and the rest of creation in a symphony of praise that fills the heaven and the earth. They say, Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and strength be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Revelation 7 verse 12. They also fall on their faces before the throne and worship God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Revelation 7 verse 11. The angels praise God and the Lamb with all their joy and enthusiasm. They celebrate God's goodness and greatness, and they thank Him for His grace and mercy. They also acknowledge God's eternal reign and His unchanging character. They say, Amen, to God's promises and purposes, and they trust Him with all their hearts. This concludes part 1 of our video on what angels do in heaven. We have seen how they worship, witness, serve, and praise God and the Lamb. We have also learned how they relate to the redeemed humans and the role of Jesus as the only one worthy to open the scroll of God's plan. Stay tuned for more insights and revelations from the Word of God. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.